Hi, I'm Tika. Welcome to Everyday Ballet, where we bring gorgeous classical ballet principles, training, and style to everyday life. You don't need a dancer's body. You don't need to know anything about ballet. I'm here to show you all about this gorgeous technique and how to bring ballet's grace and power to your life. In this video, we're going to learn more about one of the most important steps of ballet. It's called a degage, and it's usually done third in a ballet bar. We have plies, tendus, and then degages. And it's one of those steps that really sets us up for some more complex steps later on in our ballet technique. So we'll have a tutorial followed by an exercise so you can put those training tips into motion. And remember, if you like this video and find it helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and subscribe your notifications so you won't miss any of my ballet training. I'm so delighted you're here. Let's ballet. Degage means disengaged, and it represents a disengaging of the foot from the floor. Now, this is a very natural progression from where we've been so far in our ballet bar. Our plies have been our knee bends. Our tendus have been our stretching motion with the toe on the floor. And now our degages are going to be a more vigorous movement of the foot against the floor so that it disengages. So in order to do a degage, you can just take a very simple first position. From here, you're going to press through the activated leg, the working leg, and you're going to brush off the floor with a straight knee. And you come off about two to three inches. This is on the way out, but there is a second half to our degage. When we come in, we have to again brush the foot back to the first position. So once again, we go out and then we brush in. And we can do that to the front, we can do that beside, or we can do it behind. Now, a couple of things to remember here. One of the biggest mistakes I see in the studio is that people will have a lot of vigor in that foot, which is excellent, but the leg goes too high and it starts becoming a kick. And degage is not a kick. We do kicks later on in our ballet bar. So keeping it nice and low, you only want to come two to three inches off the floor. Another mistake that I see is that oftentimes now that the leg is working more vigorously and that foot is really pushing, I will see the pelvis start to articulate or wiggle or swivel around. And we want to avoid that because as with all of our ballet exercises, posture is what we really want to maintain. So as you're sweeping the foot against the floor, you want to make sure that you're zipping the jeans and maintaining that feeling of tall posture, which means that the pelvis this is neutral, especially to the side and to the back. That's where we really want to pay attention. From our first position, we're going to brush the toes in the direction of the first position. So brushing out beside the ear in the direction. Make sure that the heel is coming in front of the body. One of the biggest mistakes I see when people go to the side is the heel tips backwards. And the moment that happens, the whole hip, the whole pelvis starts to kind of move around and we don't want that at all. Remember, it's a feeling of jumping off of the floor as you go out and in so that you keep that gorgeous posture. To the back, it's very easy to let that tailbone go with the foot. Try not to let that happen. See if you can zip the jeans, and then again, pushing as if you're jumping into the air, the toe is low, and then we brush back in underneath ourselves to first position. So once again, we have a brush to the front, it's nice and low, the toe is reaching, the knee is stretched, and we brush back into our first position. To the side, we brush in the direction of our first and then we brush back into our first position and to the back we brush behind the head lifting up through the core and then we brush back in to the first position when you do a proper degage you can really be building the strength of the legs the ankles the feet as well as the posture and these are all things we need to be able to move elegantly once we get off of our bar and into the center of the room so with that we're 
we're going to have now an exercise set to the very famous music of the four little swans, or cygnets as they are called. Now, these are the dancers who are all linked together and moving in unison. It's a very famous dance from Swan Lake. So it has a very sort of militant feel to it. And see if you can use that quality of music to really press through the feet, very sharp, very precise, very low. Standing up nice and tall, we're going to lift the fingertips up. We're going to use the arm, so we're going to start with the arm. The hand is over the hairline, starting front. Nice and slow. We brush, brush, brush. Keeping it low. Point, brush back in. Point, brush back in again. Getting taller. The feeling of jumping. Now bend the knees to the side. Brush. Clips, brush, clips. Make sure that pelvis is nice and quiet. Brush, you're brushing in the direction of your first. Brush, good. Last one, bend, take the head in front to the back. Hugging at the core, feel like you're zipping the jeans. Keep the leg low, reach strongly through the toes. Remember to brush back in, brush, 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 feeling of jump, close, bend, side, to the side, close, brush, close, good. Feeling of jumping up, close, reach through those toes, last one here, bend, we have one, close, side, close, back, close, side, Close, bend, and stand. Excellent. So hopefully you're really feeling that activation of that foot pushing off the floor, just like you would if you were jumping into the air. You should feel a lot of work here in the ankle as well as in the backs of the legs and your core because you're lifting up through your good posture. All right, let's do the other side. Standing up nice and tall, lift the fingertips, float the fingertips over the hairline, release the shoulder, light touch on your bar. We start with seven to the front. Here we go. Brush, two inches. Brush, good. The feeling of jumping up, brush, close. Three more. Nice and strong. Make sure you're not clutching your bar. And bend, over. Now, in the direction of your first. Hugging in, still feeling like you're jumping up into the air. Brushing in, good. Brush, close, brush, close, bend, reach, now back. Hugging in, try not to break in the lower spine. Zip the jeans, brush, close, brush. Stretch out, reach the heart over the hand. Strong toes. And bend. Side again, brush. Make sure that heel is coming in front of you, not behind you here. Keeping it low, three more. Good. Brush, close. Bend. Now one. And side. Back. Side, and bend, stand. Good, I just love that music for degage because it's so militaristic. And that degage should just be a beautiful, precise Xerox copy through the feet and ankles. I hope you found that helpful and fun. And if you did, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also, if you're looking for structured online ballet training, head over to everydayballet.com and check out my ballerina body programs. We also have Zoom classes, and on-demand videos, anything you could want. It's over at everydayballet.com. Thank you so much for sharing ballet with me, and until next time, happy dancing.